Good morning, world. Um, so today I wanted to start today and talk about vlogging. I get a lot of questions about vlogging and just like making content in general. And that's not even what I'm talking about right now. So I wake up in the morning after a vlog. You know, I spend my day doing all kinds of different things. And at the end of the day, first thing I do is check the mic. Um, but at the end of the day or four or five o'clock, I start editing the vlog. Um, I have to get all my footage done by five or six o'clock to get, well really by four o'clock to get the vlog up by seven. So it takes me like two hours to edit, sometimes longer just depending on the episode or whatever going on, much footage I have, etc. So it takes a while, like, you know, every single day, like, or the days that I vlog. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work just doing, a, producing your basically own TV show, and it's just me and Ern. And prior to this, it was just me. Yeah, it's a lot of work. But that's not even, still not my point. My point is that when I started a vlog, I started a vlog because I wanted to. I just wanted to show my life. I wanted to show the creativity in my life, all the things that I do, my vision to the world, my thoughts, and yeah. Yes, the shoes that I buy. Obviously the shoes drew a lot of people in and people like love shoes and I love shoes. Like it's a super huge part of my life. But it's not everything, you know? And I think that like, I think there's this disconnect and a lot, especially with the internet and all of this and Twitter and a lot of people, we're all just like super tunnel visioned into shit and start thinking that, you know, like I think that some people think that these creators on YouTube or whatever you wanna call them are like robots or that we're supposed to just like play to a part, you know? Like I get these comments all the time. One, if I don't review a shoe for one day you know there's comments being like you don't review shoes anymore you know or boost isn't dead but you're not reviewing them you know I'm not here to run out and buy every single shoe for other people I'm not here to buy one single shoe for other people I only did this because I was buying shoes there will never become there will never become a day where I let the comment section or other people's opinion drive my content. That's how you end up with people like the Paul brothers. That's how you end up bullshit content that most people complain about. Most people complain like this dude's being fake. This dude's being that. You're, this isn't real. Like this isn't how people really live. Like you're right because they're, they're being fake and they're being fake because they've been demanded to be fake and they keep it going because they have the insecurity like I got to keep this going. I got to keep this going. I am not worried about it. I have jobs. I am I, before YouTube. I was doing very well. Um, I love this. I love YouTube and I love the brand and I love all that stuff. And my supporters are here for that. Like the people who are complaining about me not reviewing boost shoes are generally not the people who are like actually fucking with me. Yeah, and YouTube is free, you know? Like it doesn't cost you anything. So it's like if you don't like something or you don't like the way the content is shifting, all you really have to do is like not watch it. And I understand some of you want your opinions to be heard, but when, what you're really saying is that I've wasted your time. You know, you're like, I came here for this and you've wasted my time. But I'm gonna argue that if you got time to leave me like a paragraph comment, you got plenty of fucking time, dog. Yeah, I don't really get it. Like I'm not, I'm just not here for that. Like I love, like I said, I love shoes and all of my peers review shoes pretty constantly, but this is a vlog, you know? And so I don't really, um, it doesn't concern that people will fall off. It doesn't concern me that people, um, think that I've changed because I don't want to like run out and buy every single shoe that drops. Especially when I still like still buy more shoes than probably most people that you watch. That's a fact. Right? But if I wanted to buy all these other shoes, if I wanted to be just like a sneaker YouTube, then I would take all of the offers from Nike, Puma, Reebok, Asics, got any other shoe companies you've heard of? All the offers that I've gotten to either wear their shit, review their shit, push their shit, um, I would take those offers, I would take that money. Like some people just don't understand. I know I'm not even talking to a lot of y'all and some of y'all are like, this is pointless, whatever, but I just think it's important because we're in the age of the internet and we're in the age of where like, commenting and um, the pressure to be cool is so fun. I reached a pinnacle. I broke 100,000 subscribers or something I didn't really think I would. If I break 200,000, something I never really thought I would do, but I'm not going to lose myself searching for another version of me that people will pretend to like. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care. I know that some people think I'm a dick when I'm talking to Ern. Some people don't like the tone of my voice. Some people don't like the way I look. Like, it's fine. Like, it's totally, totally cool, but I'm still not gonna change shit about myself. I'll change things about myself when I feel the need to change them. And um, that's why this is a vlog. You can watch growth. Those of you who have watched from the very first episode, you've seen growth. You've seen me grow up as a person. You've seen all kinds of things happen. Some of you know about my relationship. Some of you pay attention to a lot of things. And um, that's cool. That's what this is. It's like a TV show to me. It's not a, I just got this. Look how awesome it is. Like, man, thanks a lot, Foot Lock. Like, I'm not here for that. If that's what you're here for, you can unsubscribe. I really don't care, you know, because it's just a number. I appreciate the people that subscribe to my content. 
content and actually enjoy it. And those who do have constructive criticism afterwards and hit me up, yeah, that's cool. You know, when we, I'm constantly trying to improve myself and the quality of my content, but let's not get it twisted. Improving does not mean selling out and improving does not mean pandering to an audience and improving doesn't mean throwing contests every two weeks and improving doesn't mean buying shit that I know I already don't like. And improving does not mean not being myself. So if you don't like that, it was nice. I'm glad that you were here for a while, sort of lost your way here. Once you realize that you like to laugh and you have a sense of humor and you want to see cool stuff and um, you like jokes, come on back. We're, we're open all the time. 24 hours we're open, so just come on back. You know, why you have negative attitude and shit? Just miss me with that shit. You know, like, my content gets demonetized a lot, and if it's not demonetized, it's not, uh, you know, it's definitely not, it's definitely not approved for all audiences. So, for anyone to try to dictate what I make, I'm essentially making this because I want to. It's not like I'm getting, I'm not really getting, I'm not getting paid, with, I'm not even getting paid enough to make it worth the shoes that I buy. So let's not get it twisted. I'm gonna continue to make the content I want, because I'm only doing this out of the love of making the content and connecting with the people who I actually connect with. It's not like it was a few years ago where it's like only a few people were buying Boost. Everybody jumped on the Boost wagon and then that's why now you have a lot of people talking shit because they jump from thing to thing. I don't jump from thing to thing, so. Because now Boost has sort of leveled out and there's models everywhere, I can live my life, fucking do whatever I want while still wearing the Boost shoes. I can get back to my job at the tattoo shop. I can like design the stuff I want to design. It's super cool that a lot of you found me through one thing, stayed for another reason. I think I'm hilarious, obviously. I know people aren't, you're not supposed to call yourself funny or call yourself a genius or anything like that, but I, I have a lot of self-confidence. I think Earn is hilarious and entertaining. So uh, my only job here that I give myself is to make the content that I want and make sure that I think it's entertaining. So uh, yeah, for those of you that are here, I love you. I appreciate you. For those of you that are leaving, I appreciate you too. We'll see you on the way back. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Today, I believe what we're gonna do is a 500 milligram challenge. So for those of you that don't smoke, like, or eat weed, or any kind of marijuana thing, you might not like today's episode very much. But for those of you that are down, I think Ern is gonna come over. Ern's on his way now. He went by the, he's going to the dispensary to go pick up 500 milligrams, which is a lot. For those of you that don't, a normal dose of an edible, or like what they consider a dose here, is 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams doesn't really do anything to me. Um, when I get up into like 20, 25, I can feel it. 50, you're definitely gonna be, like, you're definitely gonna be stoned. Uh, the most I think I've ever eaten is like 200, 250, I don't know. Maybe over the course of a day more, but I can't even think, I don't think. So it should be pretty interesting to see what happens. Cause Ern has been talking crazy, like he wants to eat 500 milligrams and that he can function. So I think today we're gonna find out. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. What's up, big baller? What's up, big baller? What's up, big baller? I can't let you eat the stuffing. What? Why? The other place wasn't open. Oh, well, you should have waited. Uh, you said get here early. We got stuff. I'm about to get ripped on 500 milligrams. I ain't waiting. You have to eat all that. I gotta eat. That's so much fucking. Food. This is 200 milligrams. Yeah. You're not gonna fucking be. Like, so I gotta eat all that. You eat one. Two and a half. You're not gonna be able to eat. Just get me a little yeah. plate. That alone is gonna make you sick. I don't care, dog. Dude, I don't know if you should do that. I mean, I have some water. I have some of these. And there's chocolates. There are chocolates. I, I, that's why I need to Do I mix it up? Do I have like, let's take out the chocolates. Let's mix and match. We'll mix. First off, are we going to get steaks first? No, I, I Ubered because okay. I thought like, why would I even take the car and yeah. get stuck? Are you eating it all at once? Yes, right? Isn't that the idea? That is, I would assume. I, that's the way to eat it. Fuck these. I eat yeah. 300 and then 100 of these. Oh my God. I got batteries freaking out. Hold on before yeah, you tell this story. I call another Uber. I get in with the bag. He goes, how's your day going? I go, good. I'm about to eat 500 milligrams. He goes, what? He goes, I can eat like one or 200. He goes, but five, dude? You're going to eat five. I said, yeah. <laughs> 200, 300. Wait. Sounds fun. Dude. I'm fucking psyched for you. That's for sure. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a nice. Pounds of bacon in the fridge. Yeah, we got bacon. Though. We stay with the bacon, fam. You hyped it up. This all. I want to be clear. This all happened because you said that you could do this. I can. This is not me trying to get my friend to do no, something. No, 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 no. This is no, not no. me, Omar. Hey, 
Fuck. It's not like bum fights. I'm not out here fucking paying, paying motherfuckers to do stupid shit. Or bum fights yesterday. Somebody was talking about. By the way, fuck bum fights. Bum Street. This one. So you can help me out Do you guys make a shake with avocado in it? I feel like I got one. I can't remember yeah, the name. Yeah, we do, man. Um, it's a uh, yeah, avo matcha. It's a uh, matcha, honey, vanilla, avocado, vanilla, avocado. <laughs> I'm already 350 in. Yeah, 350 in. <laughs> What's yep. today's date? Wednesday the 10th. <laughs> Wednesday the 10th is the day's date? Yes. When you write the, your own Declaration of Independence, it's going to say Wednesday the 10th? January 10th. There you go. 2018. <laughs> Alright, let's go get food. We're back. We just got lunch. We got sandwiches. Uh, I took Omar out. You took Omar? We took Omar out. <laughs> Trying to get my metabolism up. A little run with Omar is what I'm saying. Get a little metabolism kicked in here. See if this weed's gonna hit yet. See if this weed's gonna hit yet. Uh, I start to feel a little weird in the head area. Not, you know, nothing crazy. So, uh, we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna do some PUBG and peace. It's me. Just unplug the stream deck. No! It's me. And. <laughs> oh, hi. Checking in. <laughs> How long has it been since you ate it? It's been about an hour and a half. It's mm. starting to kick in, I think. Dude, there's never two gone. I will play this game and I will play better and better. I will get the chicken dinner under the influence of 500 milligrams and I will prove to all the people <laughs> in the world who are anti-weed that weed is good for you. Video gaming is also good for you. Okay. So video gaming and weed. How? <laughs> this is more This is more like a day off, <laughs> just so you know. Wait, what? This is more like a day off for us than it is like a No, this is a day on for me. Oh. This is a day I'm going to win and really begin my pro gaming career. Oh, okay. But wait, I, and I need water. And I need to take this hoodie that off. That is not water, but whatever. This is? No. Whoa! Dude, I did about nine spins. I have no life Somebody left. Somebody clipped that. That was like a 500 milligram spin right there. That's amazing. Because you're the only one with the ladder. I was just saying he can't come up the other side. See? You can look down on him, see? Yeah. That's what... I'm barely hanging on. It's still early. Thing is, thing is, the thing is, What are you laughing about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no way. I gotta hold this together here. Where's the vlog camera? It's not in here anymore. Uh, I gotta get it. Go get it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. We're just checking in with you for no, the vlog. Right now I'm doing good. You know, it, right now, when I'm... I'm not really high yet. Yeah. No, I'm getting there. Surprisingly, it's about three o'clock, four hours in. Seem to have things under control here. I mean, I'm definitely blazed, but not, not beyond somewhere that I think you could be. Although the sky is beautiful over here. The pizza gets here at 4:20. I've arrived. 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 Everything on the menu. I didn't used to have money like this. I'll eat whatever. And then my man don't finish it. And Cardi B's like, damn, bring it home, pack it up. And then she never eats it. And he don't eat leftovers. And then he gets mad because it goes bad in the fridge. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Is this really happening or are you making this story up? I'm just saying I could see it going that way. Cardi being offset. <laughs> yeah, you're high. <laughs> And it's right. gotta be this. Don't you fucking interrupt me. I'm telling a story, goddammit. And then fucking. Now. 
Yeah! Got him with that headshot. I had a plan. I had a strategy that I was trying. I, I did it for Posty, really. Because he's into the strategy. And I'm trying to teach some of these guys how to play. <laughs> Lee, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're so asinine. Oh, Ronan, we're just chilling. Oh, Ronan. I ate 500 milligrams of weed. <laughs> Take it back to the first video. They're multicolored because of the ground. That's what people don't understand is that I'm still like a human and some days I wake up and there's like 85 notifications of people talking shit and then that 86 one, I'm just like, yep, yeah, you just got clumped in with all them fucking dicks. Like that. Mm. Look at that. All game one. All dead. Oh shit, right you right for fucking day. bullying in your Balvins right now, huh? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. You know it, Neighborhood Watch. <laughs> I just needed this beat. <laughs> what? I just needed it. Because <laughs> he's into the strategy, and I'm trying to teach some of these guys how to play. <laughs> Please shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're so asinine. Oh, Ronan, we're just chilling. Oh, Ronan, I ate 500 milligrams of weed. <laughs> Take it back to the first video. They're multicolored because of the... Hey, $20 donated. Damn, that pretty much paid for your pizza, dog. That's what's up, BP. Thanks, dog. <laughs> Ern's face. That's what happens when you give Ern $20. $20. I'm feeling really high right now. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. <laughs> that was right. <laughs> Now he's blazed. Now my man is blazed. Story's changed. Now my man is blazed. All of a sudden. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. How different you're acting now that your wife is here. I get to yeah, play one more. It didn't even phase him. Is that what he said downstairs? It didn't even phase him. What? Five hundred milligrams. Yeah. I said not really. I said it's a little giggly, but I said I wasn't like. I think we need a thousand milligram challenge. What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm still here. I challenge you to the thousand milligram challenge with me. I'm not taking a thousand milligrams. Well, it's pretty good pizza. Yeah, it's pretty good pizza. It is a good pizza. That was the day for Ernest. It wasn't bad. Yeah, but. It's gonna be a late upload. I'm very tired, though. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see how you feel later. Alright, what is it? We have one more pizza pizza, though. All right. All right. I'm out. See you tomorrow. Okay, so just got done Twitch streaming. That was probably the longest stream that we've ever done, uh, at least together, that's for sure. Uh, Aaron's reaction to 500 milligrams was really not what I expected. But also, like, edibles sometimes will really just, like, sneak up on you. So you may get home and have craziness. And then sometimes they're just straight duds. Like, you eat a bunch of edibles and it really doesn't affect you the same. And then sometimes. Your metabolism is just slowed and the next day you eat something and you just get super high. So edibles are a little crazy, super don't suggest you messing with them if you don't already have like a tolerance. Yeah, and today was 
really fun. You know, it was nice to just kind of take a day off. I just have a lot of stuff going on, so I just tried to shut my brain off for a day and just play games. And phrasing, ugh, as frustrating as it is, trying to play with an extremely stoned urn, it was a lot of fun. So, uh, shout out to you guys for joining in the channel. And I also, today I got a pair of the uncaged, or no, I'm sorry, the laceless triple black with a 3M is on the way from the UK. Um, I think that's it. NMD Racer's coming tomorrow. I'm out.